Hello, everyone, and welcome to this late afternoon's beer review. It is the day after St. Patrick's Day. And yeah, going to have another Irish themed thing to go and review. Though not as exciting or probably in depth as what I reviewed last night. But still well worth visiting. Especially since I've never really had this before. Now this is, well I haven't dubbed this one, and well I'll, I'll dub it the post St. Patrick's Day one. St. Patrick's Day review. I still have some corned beef, potatoes, and carrots, so yeah. After this, it's dinner because I finished all my chores. So what are we reviewing? Murphy's Imported Draft Style Irish Stout. Now this is of course uh, a Irish dry stout, which is not a style I drink except on St. Patrick's Day. Now, I have a lot of experience drinking Guinness Draft, and this is much like the Guinness Draft. It comes, you know, nitrogenated in the can with the widget and all that. But it's fairly interesting. So, there's a kind of a divide in Ireland. Guinness is basically the... Irish dry stout that gets drunk all over the world, but kind of really isn't drunk all that much inside Ireland proper. Murphy's is the Catholic stout. And Beamish is the stout drunk by Protestants in Ireland. And it's actually kind of funny because I've mentioned this a long time ago in previous whiskey reviews. Uh, about the divide between Jameson's and Bushmills and Samuel Powers whiskey, that there is a sectarian divide in alcohol. And I learned this directly from um, a roommate of mine in the past who was Irish-American from the East Coast. And even though he was atheist, he was always very ardent that when he was drinking Irish liquor that he would be drinking the Irish Catholic liquor or beer because you know he was Irish you know I, I don't understand I guess I kind of do understand it I mean I'm not exactly the best the most faithful Roman Catholic to say the least but um, I do have quite a bit of attachment to my cradle religion and likely I will be buried by the rights of it you know Barring the world blowing up in a nuclear holocaust in, in which there will probably be no last rites being done because everyone will be dead. Yeah, cheerful. But anyways, let's go and read the uh, back of this. Now, this is 4.0 ABV. So, like all Irish stouts, Irish stouts are actually very light. They basically have the alcohol and calorie content of a light beer. They're... Contrary to what people think of Guinness being a meal in the glass, it's actually fairly low calorie. So let's read this one for Murphy's. Murphy's Irish Stout has been brewed to the same unique recipe since 1856. We pride ourselves in only using the top ingredients of pale malt, chocolate malt, roasted barley, and hops. Murphy's offers you that uniquely smooth, creamy, and wonderfully palatable full-bodied stout flavor with roasted chocolate and coffee undertones and a biscuity sweet malt aroma. And it's basically, the rest of it is basically how you go ahead and pour it out and whatnot. So, let's go and pour this out. Man, I need to get a new glass set. These glasses are clean. I go and polish them after I'm done washing them, rinsing them with water, and I polish them before. It's it's just that they're starting to get kind of, um, you know, a feel on the inside. So that's why the carbonation, or in this case, nitrogenation, is sticking to the side so much. So, 
fairly dark. Let's go and hold this up to the sunlight here. Almost, um, I'd say it's a bit more opaque than Guinness. And instead of being ruby where the light goes through, this one's almost um, an amber brown where the light does get through, which is not much. Of course, beige head. Some fruity estery notes, but mostly carob and chocolate malting with some mild earthy and floral hops, but mostly that kind of chocolatey, caraby malt base there. On to the palette. Rather watery, but honestly, at 4.0 ABV, that's kind of to be expected, don't you think? Some light roasted coffee-like notes up front. And a very vague hot bitterness in the finish. Not much flavor dimensionality there, just sort of a ghost of hot bitterness. Smooth mouthfeel, but kind of, it's kind of, in trade-off there, it's smooth, but it's also watery. So, you know, it doesn't feel as smooth. It just feels kind of watered down smoothness. Gentle nitrogen feel on the tongue. And not much in the way of a top note while on the palate. Just a hint of barley graininess. As it warms up a little bit, that hot bitterness is kind of partnered with a mild and subtle roastiness. Again, very light chocolate notes in the mids. Very, very light. If I could use a single word to describe this beer in total, it would be light. Flavor is light. Mouthfeel is light. Alcohol is light. Enjoyment is kind of light. I mean, you know, I enjoyed this more last night because after I did my whiskey review, I cracked open a can of this and ate half of my corned beef. And it was quite enjoyable with that pub fare. And I would venture that this would make a great combo with some corned beef and potatoes and cabbage or with some fish and chips. But by itself, it's not really something to, you know, drink. And in the fact that, you know, it, it's, it's, there just really isn't much flavor there. It's really something that you would pair with food.
I think, anyways. I don't know how anyone would get drunk on Irish dry stouts. At 4.0 ABV, you would have to go and put away about five or six pints, which would be like drinking almost... It would feel like drinking a gallon of liquor or a gallon of, you know, water. It's not a pleasant feeling in the stomach to have to drink that much capacity of liquid in order to get really drunk. And in fact, I don't really feel the alcohol at all from this. Maybe after I finish a bit. I had some crackers about 30 minutes ago, so it's probably not entering my system all that quickly. So, Murphy's Imported Stout. I have to say that when it comes to flavor, I actually like the flavor a bit more than Guinness, just because there's less kind of clashing flavors there, but on the whole is much like Guinness Draft in that it is light and somewhat watery. Um, and you know, it's a style that I don't really pursue. Back when I was young, in my early 20s, you know, when I wanted to appear sophisticated, this was before I really drank anything in a, you know, a serious way, I would drink a stout and, you know, an Irish dry stout, and it would, it would feel okay, yeah, this feels substantial, but now drinking a lot of beer, I mean... Irish Dry Stout's not even my favorite Irish style beer. My favorite Irish style beer is Irish Red, which actually is a beer style I really enjoy. So if you kind of notice past St. Patrick's Days, I've reviewed Irish Reds because it's a style I enjoy more. Well, I don't hate the Irish Dry Stout style. It's not something I seek out. And honestly, hate is for, you know, Hate's a strong word. Styles I dislike. I mean, I don't like um, black IPAs. Black IPAs taste horrible to me. White stouts taste horrible to me. You know, um, Irish stouts, they don't taste bad to my palate. It's more like they don't have much taste, period. Have it with some pub fare. It goes very well with pub fare, but drinking it by itself, eh. Like I said, I like it better than Guinness. It's got a bit more of a chocolate note to it than Guinness, so, you know, your mileage may vary. I haven't actually tried Beamish. If I ever run into it, I've never seen Beamish here in Hawaii. I will try it, but, you know, since I have never run into it, I don't know if it's actually even distributed here in Hawaii. So, Murphy's Irish Stout. I liked it better than Guinness Draft, but I find the Irish Dry, st dry Stout style kind of lacking in um, taste and body. And that, folks, is your beer review for this afternoon. Slunting.